We really like the coin into Death Speak of Blackthorn against a deck like this. We like the Relic Vault. Uh, we don't really need Fel Barrage. It's going to be Relic Vault probably turn two. Honestly, we could just play Relic of Extinction turn one. I do not care about the Relic of Extinction into this matchup. So this turn one, this turn two, this Hero Power turn three. Maybe we can find the Relic of Dimensions and play that. Whoa, what? This actually works out super well because I was already planning on playing that card. <laughs> Loser. Where's the channel membership? Channel membership is, depends. Are you watching on, it's the, it's the blue join button. If you're watching on, what's it called? I can't think of the word. This doesn't really do anything for me right now. I think it's better to just kill that off and, and, and play for board, honestly. Anyway, uh, if you're on mobile, it should be right below, right next to the subscribe button. And then if you're watching on desktop, it should be also next to the subscribe button. And, it, and it's to the left instead of to the right. Okay, a peasant, not a huge fan of that. Fell Barrage, pretty big fan of that one, actually. Kills off that hero power, work towards killing this thing off. We can go this here. I mean, he's running out of cards. We've been able to control this board pretty well, and we have a Fell Rattler. And then we get to coin out Death Speaker Blackthorn on turn six. The relics are really not the win condition this game. It could be Prester, which means that the relics might still need to... Okay, it looks like it's going to be Prester, which sucks. You messed before when you played the 2-2 instead of hero power because the boar would have summoned the 2-2 anyway when he died. No, he wouldn't. The boar only summons death rattle cards. I'd like to do this and flood the board a little bit here. And save this to maybe kill something else off. Honestly, if we are in a pinch, we can do relic vault and this on the same turn if we are in a pinch and need to do something. 237 people watching and only 40 likes. Come on, guys. True factual statement. We should get more likes in here. It's not my idea. It was his idea. He's the one that said it, not me. But I think we need to just continue to flood the board. And then maybe we don't even need to coin out you if we have a completely flooded board. Taunt minion. He's going to play Prester next turn, which means I'm probably going to trade a lot of stuff into it anyway. Do I want to play Chaos Strike? I mean, I might as well. Draws me a card. We'll do it. I would rather push a little bit more damage now. He plays Prester. That's seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then he can play Death Speaker Blackthorn. Because we already know he's going to play Prester. He's going to ramp up once and then play Prester. Like, it has to be. Unless it's a Denathrius build with a ton of tokens. But I don't think that's the case. Oh! Oh, you're going that token build. Oh, okay. Three, four. Point out this guy. We have space. Okay, cool. We got... Uh, Kyrix or whatever his name is. That's what we wanted. Then we'll draw a card. And this goes face. Pretty decent stats now. If I do say so myself. Have you tried Aggro Demon Hunter? Uh, no, not yet. I played against one though, and it did not do super well. Did I play another card game? I played Yu-Gi-Oh! moderately competitively when I was a kid. So like moderately competitively for me was just like going to card shops once a weekend and doing round robins and like small-ish tournaments and seeing what I could do there. And I'd usually do well. Um, and then my stuff got kicked out of the meta. And I was a child, so I did not have the money to make a new deck. And I said, that was a good run. Made a good couple hundred dollars overall. Most of which was spent on more card packs and money. And No way. Oh, that's huge that I don't get to draw three more cards there. That's massive. That's crazy. This guy's running out of cards, though. So it's not that bad. Let's see, summon a 2-2. Okay. He doesn't have Denathrius in hand. Oh, that's kind of bad, but also not the worst thing in the world. It actually isn't that bad. Relic Vault. Activate. Play this. We'll see where the things go, and then the Fell Rattler can kill off some extra things. Unfortunate there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that was really bad. Wow, okay. Fell Rattler is not really going to do that much more. But Fell Rattler hits here. Hero power hits here. Three hits here, because it's the biggest one, and then seven hits here. And then from this point on, we're in a pretty decent spot. All we have to do is top deck a relic soon. He's going to be able to draw two cards a turn, but I think I'm able to, like, have enough early game pressure to where it should be fine. Why didn't they nerf Deathborn? I don't think Deathborn's that strong. It's good, but it's not, like, broken. It's not the thing that's broken in Mage. Um, you got the Artificer. Boom, boom, multi-strike hero power. Hit here, hit here, hit face. 
we can play the Artificer soon. We might also just want to play Jace soon. We get two Chaos Strikes to draw some cards, a Multi-Strike to kill off a couple of things. I think Jace is probably correct next turn anyway. Why did they nerf Deathborn? They did- wait. No, they didn't. That's a good board, again. That's cra- and composting? That guy's kind of crazy, actually. That, that, guy, that guy's kind of crazy. Into Vibrant Squirrel. Cool enough, okay. Oh, you don't get skeletons from when your minions kill other Deathborn skeletons. Okay, to be fair, that should never have been a feature to begin with, okay? That should never have been the way it was to begin with. We'll draw some cards. Sadly, we're using Jace now, but I mean, it's better than... Okay, we got a Relic of Dimension, which we can play in a turn or two, which is great. Fell Barrage. I forgot we had played a Fell Barrage. So that's cool. I thought we were going to get Multi-Strike, but now we get to fully wipe the board here. Which is good. I like that. Hit. We'll play the one drop as well. Hit, hit, hit. And uh, we'll double activate this relic next turn for tons of cards and tons of reduced costs and see what we can do from there. But yeah, it should never have worked that way. It, it's supposed to be the cards that died from that spell. It's not supposed to be cards that died from the spell and then the subsequent death rattles. That's just silly. This must be the way. But, I don't know. If you if you like the way that, that interacted, like, nothing wrong with that. It's... I don't... I don't like that that's how it... it how it worked. You gotta, be you gotta be scrappy with scraps, they said. We're running low-ish on cards here. I would like to find Denathrius, but at this point I feel like it's a bit late. I don't know if Denathrius is really gonna be that good. Deal two, he gets a 3-3. Three, three, unfortunate. Ow. This guy's going crazy. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with all of these minions, man. Like, he's literally able to draw so many extra cards every turn. If he didn't have composting there... God, that hand was so perfect. That hand was so perfect that one turn, man. Wow, he is just going all face. But his hand was so perfect. We get Tusk Piercer, which is useless. We'll double activate this. See if we can get anything good. We get Fury. Which is not bad. We get another one of these, which is not bad, and a Relic Vault. We'll do that twice then. Okay, Kael'thas. Not bad. Just saying. They're one ones? Are you serious? Okay, you go down. You go down. They're one ones? When did they be? What, what, what do you mean they're just one ones? Oh, they're ten tens. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Okay, well, that's fine then. Want to set up to draw some cards. I want to play Bran with you at some point, right? Oh, shoot. Okay, um, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll just do that. We're running out of time. I need to just play everything I can. Um, we'll kill off a 3-3, three, three, a 3-3. Three, three. We'll hero power and we'll kill off uh, a 3-2 as well. Uh, and we'll pass. And then next turn, we're going to go absolutely bonkers with all of these cards. And hopefully, that'll be enough to win me the game. And if not, we'll get Sire Denathrius. And I don't think we'll be able to double activate Sire Denathrius, unfortunately. Could I have gone more face damage there? I probably could have, but it's okay. We want to get at least a couple of Relic of Phantasms. So that way, we can uh, hit him in the face with Sire Denathrius for a lot. Then wipe the board. Like, whatever board he generates is going to die because of this. Do I really want to use Kael'thas as well? Does that fill up the board too much? Oh, you have to stop now, my friend. This is crazy. Happy birthday from Nori. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Happy birthday. I appreciate the happy birthday. I mean, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, how old are you? 23. Wait, it's a 5-5? Five five? Wait, no, that's fine. It's actually not that big of a deal. How much damage can I deal? We get Sire Denathrius. That's huge. Pump him up even more, baby. That, his board is flooded. He can't get another 3-3. Three, three. Is that lethal? I've got 25 plus Fury. Is that not just lethal? So that's 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lethal. That's lethal. Oh, we did it. Without facial hair, he looks like Tom Holland. Well, again, thank you for the compliment. I'm going to keep just the Tusk Piercer and the Razor Fen Beastmaster um, because it just curves out really, really well. We can play the Tusk Piercer turn one. Then we play the Vanguard turn two and we go bonk.
right into his face um and summon some extra units this turn three and we get to draw another death rattle card then we can coin this out turn four and just try to keep tempo on the board because i'm assuming it's imp locked and i'm going to need to fight for board pretty hard against that happy birthday thank you so much What's the win rate with Dude Paladin? I went five and five with it. It didn't feel great, but it actually didn't feel terrible either. So it was okay. It was fine. I'm actually not going to attack with the weapon this turn because I'm pretty sure even though he most likely kills the Vanguard, I don't really want to waste the durability of the weapon because we're not going to have extra mana to hero power on any turn. I'm just, I'm sticking with that. Without facial hair, he looks 16 to 18. I mean, again, thank you very much. He pumps that up? Really? Oh, that's huge! That means he doesn't have the circle in his hand. There's a world where I coin this out, actually. There's a world where I literally coin this out right now to pull this out, and then I can play this the following turn, and it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do that. I mean, the sooner we do this to draw some cards, the better. And then we can play like this and hero power and kill off some other stuff. It's not that big of a deal. And if the 3-3 dies, that's huge. That's fine. I kill off the 4-3. Uh, I just hope to not draw a Death Rattle minion, and if I do, we play it. That's fine. I mean, I would have loved to have played the Vanguard, but that's fine. We go boom. We hit this. It pulls out uh, you, and we will once again pass the turn, I guess. We got a 7-7 out in turn 3. That'll also draw me 3 cards. Screw Dude Paladin. Try Dinner Party Paladin. What's Dinner? Is that... What's Dinner Party Paladin? Isn't that still just like Dude Paladin? Do you still get a bonus star from Dying 5 to Legend from the previous season of hitting Legend? Um, you do if you got to 2,000 Legend or better, or like 1,500 Legend or better. I could just keep going face, honestly. He might pump up the 2-4, but it's still not enough to kill off the Treasure Guard. Does Bran work with Ivis? Um, I believe so. It is a battle cry. I am, I'm assuming it would double activate. Oh, he's doing that. No, that was actually kind of smart, high key. No, that was really smart. What the heck? I kind of want to kill this off so things don't escalate out of hand. I mean, as long as I can survive the early game, I should be able to win. Question is, do I want to go Relic? No, this will literally get me better things than the Relic. Each scar, a foe, thank I mean, there's no reason to not hero power. We just hero power kill that. It's not really that big of a deal. Let me summon two one ones. We're still at 31 HP. We can play Talon next turn, or if we draw the Relic, we can play the, not the Relic, the uh, Relic Vault. We can play that and Relic of Phantasms to flood the board a little bit. We've got tools. Oh, no. Draw three cards, though. Love to see it. Okay. So, I think I would rather do this. I want to hero power and hit something, but I want to see where the two damages go so we can figure out where to trade. Boom, into boom. Two damage there, that's fine. Two damage there, that's fine. Hero power, deal two here. He's summoning some extra dudes, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's not that big of a deal. Let me go trade, trade, kill off the four, two. We're infusing up the Artificer as much as possible. We just drop him on eight and it'll be sick. I'm gonna suck a diamond, two diamond one for the past couple of seasons. Any advice for legend? I have a video on my channel that basically talks about all the things that I would personally recommend in order to hit um, legend. And I would recommend watching that. That's the best advice I could give you. But honestly, it's mostly got to do with just like playing one deck. Pretty standard stuff, honestly. It's just focusing on, like, playing one deck and, um... Not trying to do too much. Paying attention to mulligans. Looking at your, uh, matchups. Your own stats to see what you're good against, what you're not good against. To, to try to play better. We're gonna play Kurtris. Gonna go trade, trade, gain five armor. He's down to one card. I've got, you know, a whole bunch. There are other things on the list, obviously, but those are the main ones I remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I, I'll send it to you right now. I'll just, here it is, the copy pasta of the video. Um, another thing is perfect practice. People think practice makes perfect, but perfect practice is what makes perfect. 
essentially what I mean by that is you can't just like randomly play the game which is I admittedly sometimes what I do you gotta like practice with intent I can play you soon I don't really need to draw cards if that's the case I think I just flood the board here um hero power hit hero power hit that we got a decent board this will pull out a minion if necessary this will activate things if necessary we're in a good spot honestly i genuinely think that we are just with this game's over i don't want to push my luck because he could end up playing like reform which could be bad but other than that we're good to go happy Br bran oracle i no that was that was probably the worst thing he could have drawn for me um we've got jace as a late game card We've already used up a lot of things. Like, Denathrius is not going to be nearly as strong right now. Denathrius is actually not going to be that strong anymore. We've got, a, we've got a decent number of minions. It's not, like, doomed, but it's not going to be strong either. This will draw me some good cards, though, because he's infused. We should get at least three, three, two three threes, if not a little bit better. The other relic to do damage isn't really going to trigger, but that's fine. So the legends are... Don't draw first, is all I ask. We want to reduce the cost even more. Gosh darn it. Relic of Extinction. Let's go. Two four fours, and then it plays this one last, even though it's not good. Well, I mean, this one's going to do six damage now, which is cool. And we got a zero mana rush minion that we can use at any time. So it's not bad. I just was hoping to draw a Relic Vault to kind of pop off a little bit harder. And I think if we can continue to just wipe the board over and over and over again, we should be good. That's infused? You've had that the whole time? Crazy. I played a big Demon Hunter before, um, and it did pretty well. I don't want to play the Relic of Dimensions. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wait. No, we have two Relic- or we have two Fell Rattlers. It's literally still all gonna die. How much damage do I have? 19. I've played literally zero fell spells, so I can't find lethal. Wait, no, do I find lethal here? Rush, this hits. We've got 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. No, yeah, that's just lethal, I'm pretty sure. We can even go Relic Vault to see if we can snipe uh, some taunt minions. Double activate this. Hit a taunt minion, it doesn't. That does, that's cool. I mean, if this... Yeah, we get to go face with even more damage. Cool. So then this goes face, hero power, face, hero power, face, hero power, face, hero power, rush minion, rush, hero power, and we get to kill him. This deck is pretty good, what the heck? That's crazy. Oh, I really like this hand. I really like this hand a lot, actually. We are going to keep... I mean, ideally, we cheese out Kyrex, right? We get to play that along with the... Uh, off of the Beastmaster. So we want to play this as early as possible and then play the Beastmaster to pull out him. So coin out this turn two, play this turn three to pull out this, and then we're at 40 HP, so it's going to be harder for a rogue to rush us down, which is nice. How old are you turning, Ecor? I turned 23 today. I'm feeling old. I'm two years away from being able to rent a car. So that's exciting. And then after that, the next age you want to look forward to is... In my head, I've always looked forward to 20, 18, 21, 25. And then after that, I didn't know. I'm going to point out Treasure Guard. Does anybody else have any big dates? I mean, 30 is kind of cool. It's like the last decade that you kind of dread. <laughs> Uh, we're going to coin that out, though, and then we're going to play the Beastmaster to try to pull this out. We want to play this so we don't accidentally pull out, um, you. Or so we don't accidentally pull out this with you. And then we could go, like, boom and boom turn four, and then this turn five, I guess. But I would really like to draw a Relic Vault. I really would. I'm 29, not looking forward to 30 at all. That's fair. <laughs> That's definitely fair. We got a Relic Vault? No, don't kill him, man. Chill out, my guy. Happy birthday, thanks. I appreciate it. Woo! Let's draw three cards! 
Dang, I wish I had your aid. Look, okay. When you say no swearing, there's gotta be a rule, okay? There's gotta be a rule if I'm reading something in chat, like someone says, dang, I'm wishing I had your age, but they didn't say dang. There's gotta be a, oh my God. Wait, that's not enough damage to kill me though. That's actually not enough damage to kill me. Okay, I wanna double activate this. I mean, that's gonna do 30 damage to me. Luckily, I have 40 HP. I need to kill off the 3-4. I also need to play the Relic Fault, but I kinda wanna draw cards first. No, I wanna draw cards second, I guess. This is interesting. I have a really awkward amount of car uh, space in my hand. I could play the Relic Fault now and like double activate this, or I could just play both of these and then double activate this next turn. I'm going to go with this, then draw some cards, and based on what I draw, we'll see. Because I'm just trying to upgrade that right now. We draw three cards, which is cool. We get another Relic Vault. So I'm going to Hero Power hit. You know, I kind of put myself in a weird spot. I think I'm going to go Relic Vault, double activate Relic of Phantasms, and then I'm going to go the other Relic Vault on this to just empty out my hand a little bit. I would love to draw... Some sort of healing or taunt, but this deck doesn't really have that. Oh. No. Wait, double prep? That's basically nothing unless he has the location in hand. Oh, no. He had the location. I mean, he's got a top deck well, right? Like, at the end of the day, if he doesn't top deck like Edwin, I think I'm fine. Double activate the relic. We can trade in here, we can double activate this. I mean, I go down to what, seven? We know that this is a prep that doesn't really do anything. He has to top deck things. Oh no. If that's like Edwin. Actually, I might be able to trade in and kill out. No, no. Okay, how am I supposed to deal with that? There's got to be a way I can do- Wicked Stab kills me if he top decks that. Oh, this is- this is not good. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh! We can kill it! Okay, we can kill the stealth minion, which is huge. Oh, but can we? Because we have to double activate this. I guess we go rush, and we don't want to double activate the relic. Wait, do I have lethal here? Do I ever have lethal? 10 plus this? No, it's not lethal. We'll play this. To kill off this and then play fell barrage then play the weapon go face with these and try to finish them off with fury next turn we don't even have to play the relic of dimensions dude i was i mean that was a turn three or turn four ten attack weapon without facial hair you look like you're 16 or 18 well i'll take that as a really nice compliment thank you I appreciate that. Wow, he did top deck Wicked Stab. I'm so good. Oh, I'm so good at this game, dude. Ooh, easy peasy. Okay, I actually like this hand a lot. I like having the Relic of Dimensions because it allows me to potentially double activate it, which is what I want. And even if um, I don't double activate it, it's still card draw, which is something that this deck does kind of need a little bit. Uh, so... Two Chaos Strikes early. We're going to try to find the Relic Vault. We want to play it by turn four so we can double activate this. If we can play it even earlier, that would be even better. Like, I would love that. We're going to play the one, three. We're going to go face as quickly as possible. This matchup is going to be very hard, though. We do have two main win conditions. We have Sire Denathrius and Jace. So if he eats one of them... It's not that big of a deal. I'd rather use Chaos Strike to draw cards and go face. I would rather do that. Um, and ideally, we don't draw Jace until, like, way late in the game, and then we can just, like, burst him down, so there's not even a chance he gets eaten. Okay, we can ignore that one, I'd say. Another Slither Spear and more draw. Another Relic of Dimensions is not bad at all. 
I leave that. I don't really care about that totem. Worst case scenario, we can kill with Fel Barrage like next turn and play Fel Barrage and Razor Boar. We're hoping to draw a cheap Death Rattle minion. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six in the deck. Okay, that's fine. Fel Barrage kills off both, assuming he doesn't pump it up, which is great. That's awesome. We get another Razor Boar. So we go Fel Barrage, top decked Razor Boar, just to make it seem like I just got a playable card. And I don't really want to use this Relic of Dimensions that's not double activated, but again, it is card draw. Which at the end of the day is something that this deck does desperately need. Five mana probably for the Neptalon. Oh, Gorlock Ravager, that's fine. So I would like to play Relic of Dimensions first to see if I can get a better Death Rattle minion. I don't like activating it just as a single. That really sucked, honestly. Pulls out the other one, hit him in the face. That really does suck. I would like to double activate the next one with a Relic Vault. We're gonna get Overrun soon. That's gonna draw me Sire Denathrius, which is not right, especially if he eats it with Mutanus. Uh, this is fine. We've got this with Multi Strike and Hero Power. We can kill off several things. It's it's actually pretty good for me. We get Kurtris. Is Kurtris just better? I think Kurtris might just be better. Because the minions get to stick on the board. So, like, this sadly goes here and gains nothing, but then these two go here and here. Kind of sad I gained nothing off of that, but it's okay. I am definitely in a bad spot. I think Shaman is just one of the worst matchups this for decks that revolve around... No way you evolve him. Yeah, yeah, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, We got Relic Vault, which means we can double activate that soon. I just don't know if I want to necessarily double activate it now. Um, boom, boom, multi-strike. Hit once, hit here, hit face, hit here. I'm going to get board locked, but that's okay because it's not nearly as strong as it used to be. So I'm fine with this. I did troll though. I got overzealous. I'm getting, um, I'm getting excited just in general. I'm having a good time playing the game and I'm just kind of getting sucked into having a good time. We know that four of the cards of his nine aren't the most insane. He only gets two off of that, which is a bit troll of him. He's not going to be able to kill this off necessarily. I mean, maybe he is now, but that's. Why would you not play? What is happening? Wait, what just happened? Hello? Cookie the Cook is fine. I'll trade into that. We'll double activate this for now. Okay, zero mana. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That's fine. Wait, I think he's just dead. Wait, he's actually just dead. He's literally dead. That's insane. Right? I have enough mana to finish him off. That's so sick. Holy moly. What? Hello? That's crazy. He didn't freeze me, so I just won. 